disease is a rare infection caused by the bacterium Trophorema whipplei, a gram-positive bacillus. You should think of it mainly as a GI disorder, as the bacteria accumulate in the mucosa of the small intestine and lead to malabsorption. In fact, the word Trophorema describes this quite nicely. In Greek, trophe means nourishment and erema means barrier. So the name Trophorema is a nod to the malabsorptive nature of the disease. In this video, I'll give you a quick visual mnemonic to help you remember Whipple's disease come test day. A crack of the whip? Trancy club music? We are clearly at some warehouse rave in Brooklyn. We med students have to let off steam somehow, right? Anyway, the whip is here to help you remember Whipple's disease and its causative bacterium, Trophorema whipplei. Whip for Whipple. Nice. Now, now. No good rave is complete without ample lighting, and I only go to raves with black lights, which are obviously purple. That's right, the tasteful, subtle glow from the club's black lights make the image overwhelmingly purple. And what could the color purple represent in a micro video? That's right, the purple color here represents gram-positive staining, which is fitting because Trophorema whipplei is gram-positive. Now let's return to our dashing older gentleman who is seductively cracking that whip. That's right, Whipple's disease is classically seen in older Caucasian men, which is symbolized by this older Caucasian man. Now take a look at all that foam in the dancer's cage, because who doesn't love a foam party? And now that you mention it, the foam is kind of purplish pink, which somehow reminds me of PAS staining. You know, PAS, or periodic acid shift staining, the purplish pink stain that's used to visualize sugars. And as you probably already know, the cage here represents a macrophage aka a macro cage. You see, Whipple's disease is usually diagnosed by biopsy of the small intestines, which reveals PAS positive foamy macrophages. To help you remember this finding on intestinal biopsy, the foam is coming out of an intestines-like tube. Just so you know, PAS positive foamy macrophages is actually a buzz phrase for the night. Say it to the bouncer and you'll get in for free. On a more serious note, you need to be able to recognize an image like this come test day. So let's take a look. First, this image is taken from the mucosa of the small intestine, that is, the outermost slash surface layer. Now the mucosa itself is also made up of a few layers, the outermost of which is the epithelium, which you can see here. Now forget about the epithelium for now, because what we really want is what's underneath it. Underneath the epithelium lies the lamina propria, which is basically just loose connective tissue. As you can see, we have a bunch of foamy macrophages that stain strongly PAS positive. So why is this happening? Well, it's because the macrophages actually have Trophorema whipplei inside them, and the PAS stain is picking up on the glycoproteins in the cell wall of the bacteria. This is high yield, as the finding of PAS-positive foamy macrophages in the lamina propria is a hallmark of the disease. If you can only remember one thing from this video, this should be it. Okay, okay, so let's check in with our dancers' adoring fans. See all the beautiful people happily enjoying the rave? It seems that some of the women in the image have really gone all out with their outfits. They are sporting the gold butt look, which is all the rage on Instagram these days. To see the whole Pixarize team sporting this look, jump on over to the Pixarize Instagram page and give us a follow. Seriously though, this is an Instagram trend. You should stop studying so much and keep up with pop culture more. But seriously, David, what could a yellow butt represent? Well, let me tell you. A yellow butt makes me think of yellow stool, which then makes me think of steatorrhea. Yeah, not so hot now, huh? Recall how Whipple's disease is a disease characterized by malabsorption. The prefix steato means fat, so steatorrhea refers to the presence of fat in the stool, which is indicative of a malabsorption problem. This makes sense, right? Remember all of those PAS-positive foamy macrophages? They were in the lamina propria of the small intestine, and as I'm sure you know, the small intestine is involved in the absorption of nutrients. Equally obvious, malabsorption can lead to weight loss in Whipple's disease patients. Before we move on, I also want to mention that patients tend to develop chronic diarrhea, but we've just bundled that fact with our steatorrhea symbol here. Pretty obvious, right? Now, I want to go over a few other signs and symptoms you may see in Whipple's disease. Let's return to our elderly Caucasian dancer, where you'll see some very um, tasteful spikes. These spiky elbow pads and knee pads should remind you of joint pain better known as arthralgias, that can be seen in the disease. Next, take a look at that weird neurological helmet thing this guy is wearing. This should remind you of the neurologic signs and symptoms that may be seen in Whipple's disease. For example, dementia, seizures, encephalitis, etc. 
Just remember this as neurologic symptoms, though. Finally, turn your attention to the heart-shaped couches at the back of the rave. This should remind you of the cardiac signs and symptoms that can be seen. Examples here include endocarditis, myocarditis, pericarditis, etc. Just remember this as cardiac signs and symptoms. Phew, alright, I think that's it. We should recap before things get any weirder. Whipple's disease is an infection caused by Trophorema whippleii, a gram-positive bacillus. Biopsy of the small intestine reveals PAS-positive, foamy macrophages, a key buzz phrase and image you should know on test day. The disease is primarily a malabsorptive one, and patients are characterized by chronic diarrhea and steatorrhea, which can subsequently lead to weight loss. In addition to GI manifestations, patients may have neurologic, cardiac, and joint involvement. All right, that should be it. Now I've got to get out of here. My whip's out front. I'm talking about my car this time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support our team by visiting pixarize.com, where you'll find exclusive videos and interactive review images. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.